An update now to a story we first brought you a couple weeks ago. A group of endangered parrots finding a new home. They were smuggled into the United States through Miami as eggs, but now they have safely made their move from the East Coast to the West. Hidden in the hills near San Diego, under the watchful eye of a guard tortoise named Jean-Louis. Don't bite my finger. Are more than two dozen parrots. <laughs> Most are critically endangered yellow-naped Amazons from Central America. Maybe 4,000 of these birds left in the wild at best. Brooke Durham and her team from the nonprofit SoCal Parrot are taking care of the birds. And though only two weeks old, they've already had a difficult life. They were poached from their nests as eggs to be trafficked. It's a crime ring so sophisticated, they were carried into Miami International Airport in a temperature-controlled refrigerated bag. But one of the eggs just happened to hatch right before the smuggler went through customs. One of the customs agents heard the uh, little parrot cheapy sounds that were coming out of the thing and asked to see inside it. The eggs were confiscated, then hatched at a sanctuary in Florida but they couldn't care for the birds long term. So $25,000 was raised to charter a plane to fly them to San Diego. And that cost was just the beginning. The parrots go through a staggering amount of fresh fruit each day. Seven, eight hundred bucks a week, I would say at least. Not to mention the physical cost. The volunteers' hands and arms are all covered in scratches from the parrots' tiny toenails as they were hand fed to bring up their strength. For Durham and her team, it's all worth it because they hope that in a few years, this flock could be the first ever rescued from smugglers to be returned to their native homes. But even if it never happens, Durham knows most smuggled birds aren't as lucky as these. They're not living out a great life as a pet. Um, they're wild animals that are dying. As for the smuggler, he pled guilty to bringing the birds into the United States. He faces up to 20 years in prison when he's sentenced in August. You're watching Today in Florida. We'll be right back.